Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to Tectopia. A little bit of a less stressful intro today in case you missed last episode. We actually had a little bit of an intruder to begin with. A necromancer spawned inside our four walls here, which I thought were a solid form of defense, but apparently not because the necromancer actually spawned around about here, which I didn't realize was possible. I thought they only spawned in the far corners of the borders where it meets here, but yeah, obviously not. My village is not as impenetrable as I once thought, so we're going to do something about that by hiring some guards today, but I've got a couple of things I want to do before we get into that. So the first thing I want to do is mess around with the roofs in our village. If we just take a fly around here, you can see they're all pretty different and I don't really mind that, but something I don't really like is some of them have blue terracotta poking through, some of them don't, and I think this is the only one that actually has carpet on the top. Some of you may be very confused at that, but if we just break this here, you can see this is lime carpet, which I have changed the texture of. And I don't really think I want to use this anymore. It was a nice idea at first, and don't get me wrong, this looks absolutely fine. Um, but if you guys were to ever download the world, this is what the place would look like. Oh man, I completely forgot that I made this texture change. <laughs> so, Tectopia is only available at the moment in 1.12, so that means the smooth sandstone variant isn't a block yet, so I changed the regular sandstone to look like that because it's so much nicer. Yeah, it looks... it doesn't look as good, <laughs> that is for sure. I suppose it's not too bad from a distance, but then you zoom in and uh, it doesn't look particularly good, but I, I don't mind that too much. That is bearable if you guys were looking around. It still looks like sandstone, right? But if we turn around here, there's something that stands out more than everything else, which is the roof here, and I really don't want that. And there's actually something really simple we can do for the roofs that have slabs and blue concrete, uh, blue terracotta, sorry, peeking through, which is to replace these with stairs like we've done. Can I make this jump? Probably not. We'll go to, um, <laughs> what building should we go to instead that I can actually leap across to? None of them, apparently. Okay, I can make this jump, though. So, um, yeah, the uh, slabs we can place here, and then they won't, like, be level with the top of the outer line here. So, pretty much, this elongated sentence is uh, me trying to say, I'm gonna make that change. Um, Ramora, quick word, did you by any chance try to copy what our llama friend does here by sticking your head through the block? You look a little stuck, and honestly, I'm kind of tempted to leave you there, teach you a lesson, don't try and imitate our llama friend who, by the way, I know you guys would have had your name suggestions in by now, haven't seen the comments on the episode yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, what is going on here exactly? How have you managed this? You're welcome. You're free now. Did you want to get to work? <laughs> that was very strange. I don't think I communicated my point very well earlier. Pretty much, we can do the roofs in one of four ways. The first one being just keeping it blue terracotta like this on show, which looks fine, but a little out of place as not all of the houses have it. The second way is to, of course, that's the wrong block, <laughs> use our lime carpet here, which we already decided against. The third way is to put slabs on the top here, but keeping the birch ones, which, yeah, doesn't look great because this is level and there needs to be some sort of differentiation. So what I've been doing on all of the houses is going around replacing the birch slabs with birch stairs. And you can see if I can actually place these blocks down, I'll do those in a second. There is half a block's different, which, uh, yeah, just looks so much better in my opinion. I am in need of emeralds because we're gonna buy some tokens right off the bat in today's episode. So how many have I got? I haven't traded in a while. I actually haven't logged into this world in a couple of days. I think it was a lot. Yeah, over two stacks. Okay, that is gonna be plenty. I probably only need two stacks at max. So we're gonna be buying some homes to allow us to spawn in the children. We're going to be setting them up as temporary ones because when you spawn a child in that is going to grow up into a guard, 
they can't sleep in the barracks in the first place until they are a guard. So basically we need some bed spaces allowing our children to sleep. Um, we will obviously make the homes into actual homes at some point or another. But yeah, we need to set up some temp ones to begin with here. So I'm going to do a two person home and then I think we're going to get two four person homes. That equals 10. I, uh, I think that should be good. Yeah, so I'm going to go pretty much make a hole in a wall or just set up some sort of like box <laughs> over here maybe in this big open area just as a uh, temporary home for them whilst they grow up training to be guards by far the best houses in the entire village the rest of this everything else we've done doesn't compare this is uh this is amazing <laughs> no i've done the bare minimum i uh, had to do to create some viable homes where we can spawn our children so that's what i'm gonna do here we'll do two of you there you're all gonna grow up to be warriors i uh hope you're nice and strong for some reason these hearts are really loud for me hopefully not the same for you so uh yeah, enjoy your temporary homes. I know they're absolutely gorgeous, but uh, try not to get too excited because you're not going to be living here forever. You shouldn't be getting overcrowding though. I made sure they're big enough. Maybe I'll just expand them a little backwards this way. Although, is that going to ruin how they look? Mm, I, I think it'll be okay. So for this barracks design, I'm actually doing something a little bit different. We've got a whole miniature castle of sorts going on. We've got this wall going around the outside and tower included. And then on the inside, we're going to kind of split it up into different parts. It will, all, it will all technically be the barracks. I'll explain a little bit more in first person when I can actually show you around. But we're going to kind of be splitting up into the sleeping arrangements, that guard tower that you can already see and then some training rooms, then we'll put some stuff on the outside. It's all very cool to walk around in. It doesn't look amazing, I will say that, because we have to use sandstone. If I was able to use wood and stone and other medieval type resource or materials, I would make it look a lot better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it doesn't really suit the style we're going with, but I just think it's kind of cool and something a little bit different. But that's not really what I want to talk about in this time lapse. The main thing I want to do is actually give a little teaser to something that's coming up on the channel very, very soon, which I'm so excited about. So I think this video is going out on the 8th of February. Fingers crossed I'm right in that, otherwise <laughs> I'm going to get real confused here. But uh, I think either this Wednesday or the next Wednesday, don't 100% quote me on that, that's just the time I'm aiming for, um, but I will have a new series starting one of those Wednesdays. <laughs> Again, I'll let you know specifically when it's coming out a bit nearer to the time. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to start this. It's something I've been wanting to, doing for a, uh, wanting to do for a long, long time. And I've never really just pushed myself to do it. So I honestly can't wait. I, uh, I have yet to record the first episode of the series. I'm kind of not putting it off, but I'm a little nervous to start because it's going to be, it's going to be a big thing for me. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait. I'm very nervous, but very excited at the same time. So look forward to that. I think it should be really fun and something we can all enjoy. I will show you around the barracks in just a second, but for now we need to give these nitwits that are running around a job because they are uh, at a loss at the moment and they've been uh, grown up for quite a while now as I had to gather together a lot of emeralds for what we're about to purchase. We need to buy the barracks and 10 guard tokens, so let's do the barracks first. It is a hefty... Uh, what is that? 98 emeralds, <laughs> which is, yeah, quite a lot. Thankfully, it didn't take too long because we're at the stage now. It's fairly easy-ish to get this many emeralds. So we'll buy that there. That was pricey. And then we'll go over to the tradesman and we can get all 10 tokens. I think this is 140 uh, emeralds I've got here. Let's just sort of click it and hope for the best. <laughs> if it's wrong, then so be it. But that is nine across there and 10. Okay, now I've got to go around, find all the nitwits, and give them their tokens. Oh my goodness, I am halfway through giving out these tokens, and Sela here, we already have a Sela, but Sela Rakuren, am I saying that right? Probably not, <laughs> um, has 65 intelligence. My word, you've done well in school. Sela? <laughs> Sela? Oh no. <laughs> um... I'm just going to assume that's a visual glitch and she hasn't just teleported to a better world because she's too smart for this one. That's slightly concerning. Um, I'll do a head count once we actually assign them all a job. 
I've found the imposter. You are not Sella, or whatever the other one was called. You are Sella Amanchi, which... Yeah, that that's not good. I, I can't find her anywhere, guys. <laughs> all of the beds over there, you can... Oh, they're not loaded in. They are all yellow, and all of the ones in the barracks are green. So, the village thinks she is here. Maybe I just haven't found her yet. Tell you what, I'm going to follow that one. I bet it's her. I, I'm feeling lucky. Feeling real lucky here. Come on, Sella. Maybe you've just disappeared from me. <laughs> nope, there you are. You're Sella. I, I can just tell you're not Sella. You're Zandrilla. That, that's a really cool name, actually. <laughs> are you Sella? I, no, you're the, you're the other Sella that we don't want. I mean, we want you, but it, you don't have 6-5 intelligence. I'm a bit concerned, actually. Tell you what we'll do. I'm going to break the bed that she slept in. Was it this one? Since we don't need these anymore. Uh, I was really hoping just Sella was going to pop out of that. <laughs> Um, I'll just sort of give it a bit and wait until I bump into her, maybe. So I've done a final count of all of my guards and there are definitely 10 of them, but the first seller is nowhere to be found, so I'm guessing one of them just had their name and all of their stats replaced, like none of them have anywhere near 65 intelligence, so I have no idea what's gone on there and I'm sure it's some sort of known bug, um, but it doesn't really matter, they'll all level up their intelligence over time. But now I can show you around what the barracks is actually looking like, beginning with placing these two birch blocks that I missed <laughs> in the time lapse. So yeah, there you go. Are you seller? No, I, I, I'm very confused. So on the outside here, we have these two training dummies. Obviously these aren't the ones that can be used. The ones that can be used are on the inside here. Um, this is like a little archery range so we can shoot the hay blocks with our bow, not that they have a bow, nor is it flaming. So yeah, you can also see I've moved our pathway in, which is what we will be doing for the entire village. But as I say, uh, each time we do a village, <laughs> uh, the pathways will be done fully at the end because it's so much easier that way, placing all of the buildings down and then going around and doing the pathways instead of the other way. Seller? <gasps> no, no, wait, that's the, the other seller. Got really excited then. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got the pathway going in here and over here. I'm not really sure what this is. Use your imagination and we've just got some storage over here. Maybe to store some swords, armor, food, whatever a barracks would need. And then heading on the inside here, let's go... We'll go this way first. We've just got some more storage. You can hear some snoring. Uh, this is the sleeping arrangements. Now, it looks very cramped in here, yes. And you're probably wondering, well, some of you might be anyway, why isn't overcrowding happening in here? Well, technically, all of this floor space counts as the barracks going all the way around here. So, this is well over, what would each, uh, 120, right? Because there's 10, each of them need 12 spaces. So yeah, there's well over 120 blocks on the floor here in this entire thing. So that's pretty good. And in here looks very busy. I haven't really had enough room to do too much with it, but I feel like it quite suits the barracks, all the beds being super close together. Got a clock on the wall that I'll ring when they've got to get up to uh, fight off whatever they need to fight off. Although half of them sleep in the day, some sleep in the night. You know how uh, fireworks work. Fireworks? I, I've done that in two videos recently. I've just <laughs> said a random word. I'm not sure if I actually made up. Where did I get f fire fireworks? What, was I thinking about fireworks? I don't know. I, I forgot the other word that I was going to say. Guards, maybe? I, I have no idea. Yeah, I did it in another video. I might have actually cut that out of that one, though. So weird. I, I don't understand my mind sometimes. So this is where they'll go to train. I've only got four armor stands in here, but occasionally they'll, occasionally they'll come along and smack these a little bit and level up when they haven't got anything else to do. And then up here is actually leading to the top of the tower, which I am going to assign one guard post to. So a guard will come up and stand here, which... This probably isn't the best place for them to stand, but I just think it's going to look really cool having a guard up here most of the time looking out on the village. That's the main reason I'm doing it. Does anything look off about the library here to you guys? Can you see it? I, I think you can. 
down here, <laughs> we have a chicken in the wall. Not really sure how he's managed to get in there, and honestly, I don't know if he can get out. But uh, he looks pretty cozy in there. Well, when he doesn't have his head in the wall, that is. But uh, yeah, he slots in quite nicely there, which is quite funny, really. So we have a couple of loose animals in the village, mainly chickens. There was a sheep at some point or another, but I... Um, I killed him. He was fine. He escaped entirely. Um, but yeah, I think that's happening because over here at the butcher's building... Oh, we just managed to see a killing live on screen. Nice. Um, <laughs> so most of the time that will happen like you just saw then. The butcher will kill the animal, no problems. But occasionally what I think happens is they manage to climb on these blocks causing the butcher to miss and then they run away and get out of the village or sometimes it'll take more than one hit or not out of the village, sorry, out of the building. Um, but that's such a rare occurrence that I don't think I'm really going to bother patching this up or anything like that. Obviously, it be if it becomes more of a bigger problem, then I will fill this in. But I quite like how this looks, so I'm not really too fussed. But yeah, <laughs> occasionally it means a chicken or a sheep break free. Anyway, what I think I'd like to do now is actually set up some guard posts. Thankfully, they are nice and cheap to buy from the architect here. Only five emeralds, I want to say, if they're somewhere around here. Six emeralds each. So I'm going to buy five of these and I'm going to set one up in each quadrant. I know there's only four quadrants, but we're going to have one here, one over there, one here, one here. And then obviously we've got the one in the tower. So that means we'll have five guards in each of the towers, sort of in a designated location. And then the rest will just be freely roaming around the village, which I think will be a nice coverage of defense if we do happen to get a necromancer spawn again. Thank you very much, Architect. We can now go place these down. So I'm really happy with how these look for the outside. Last time in our old village, what we did was pretty much built this thing on top as the only card post, obviously made out of wood and stone as it was a medieval village. This time we've got a whole building surrounding it, which the guard is actually going to be able to climb up. So on the inside, we've just got a staircase. And then this is where I'm going to put the token. So hopefully... Fingers crossed a guard should be stood up here pretty much all the time. The only thing that I think may happen is they could think this is them guarding it and just kind of walk around down here or maybe stop halfway on the staircase. But hopefully that doesn't happen and they'll be up here most of the time, which I think is going to look really cool. So I'm going to place these other three down, uh, other three down, sorry. Oh, I was meant to buy another one, wasn't I, to go up in that tower. I'll do that as well and then we can see if they actually use them. Oh, look at you go up the staircase. I've only just placed this down. I'm surprised how fast you got up here. So Axel is now guarding this tower, which, uh, sorry to break it to you, but your job is kind of pointless. There is never going to be anything you can spot here that you're actually going to be able to get to. I don't think. I believe the other ones are low enough that if a necromancer did spawn or somehow a uh, zombie or something got in, then they would see them. But yeah, that one right there is a little too high up. But if we can just have a quick, you know what, I'll do this in a replay because it'll probably look better. But you can see it looks pretty cool with her up there. So yeah, I really like that. Moment of truth here. Is she going to go up the stairs? She's going in the door. Oh, this is cool. I was really worried they were just going to sit on the outside. But here she is up in her position. Let's just push her in the way so I can get a nice screenshot. Actually, this probably isn't the best one to take a photo of. Um, but yeah, they will stand up here, which is really nice. I did see one stood down on the floor. Thank you for the salute uh, a minute ago. So I guess they kind of just chop and... Not another one. Wait, oh, no, okay. 
<laughs> You've just uh, decided to go on down the stairs very quietly. I thought we had another disappearance, but no, we're all good. Didn't end up finding Cellar in the end, by the way. I really have no idea what happened with that. I am just about out of recording time for today, and there's just one final change I'd like to make before we end off the episode here, and that is to actually get rid of these trapdoors here and replace them with stairs, I think facing like that. So, you guys know, I mention it quite a lot and you probably see it a lot in the videos, but villagers will often get stuck on these trapdoors here. Because trapdoors are registered as a full block, they try and get on top of them and yeah, it doesn't usually go well. See, uh, that one walked over the stairs here. If it had been trapdoors, they would have done a bit of hopping and jumping around, which is fine, but the children really struggle on them and often get stuck indefinitely until I come and sort them out. So yeah, I think just because it could be a big problem if I was to ever like sort of leave this area or leave like my computer for a bit, um, they could get stuck here and starve. So I think I'm gonna do that, but how does it look? It's not horrible, but it does look better the other way. I'm gonna leave it like this for now, but if you guys really don't like it, then uh, yeah, we can obviously change it back, but just let me know. Just doing my last little bit of trading here before we end off today's episode. I'm using a lot of my lapis supplies for this. <laughs> that may not have been the smartest decision, but I've got eggs to spend all day long so I can happily do these and yeah, put it towards that emerald supply, which I'm not actually sure what we're at at the moment. Not too great, bear in mind. Oh, that's still pretty good. We did spend a lot in today's episode and next time around we probably won't need to spend that much because I'm probably going to use those uh, home tokens we... Uh, why have I got, there we go, um, those home tokens we bought at the start of the episode will actually make them proper houses, I haven't really had time to do that today, but uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this, watching this episode, I really hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you in the next one, bye for now.